Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm working on sort of a country good luck card that I'm making for the challenge over at Cut It Up. Now I'll tell you I'm also going to be putting this in a couple of other challenges. One of them being one of my favorites and that's the Farm Quest Challenge. And I will link that below. Also the Outlaws no digi challenge. So you make something that you used in no digis. So let's get started. I have quite a few ink pads out here because I'm going to be coloring up some of these pieces. And then I have some die cuts that I've already cut in uh, Cricut Design Space or at the studio there. So I have this horseshoe and I've got a flower and I've got this old piece of brown scrap. And then I have this um, off kilter cut note card and then I have the inside of my card where I'll put my sentiment. So let's get started by uh, just going ahead and inking up some of these pieces. So I have some different close to my heart inks out and all I'm doing is I'm just going around the edges and I'm sort of finishing them up. On this brown piece of scrap paper, I actually am distressing the edges with a distressing tool. And then again, I'll go around it with a little bit of that um, cashmere colored ink. Now you can see I've cut some things out of here, but it's not going to matter because uh, when I put the top piece on, it won't show. Okay, so I'm coming in adding a little bit of blue now. There's blue already on this paper, but I wanted to go ahead and add it in some other spots. And then two out of three of the petals get some blue and some juniper ink around the edges. The middle layer I'm leaving in brown. Now I do go ahead and color the backs of the flowers just because I'm going to be curling them and popping them around a little bit. And so the backs might show a little bit so I didn't want them stark white so I'm just going around with some color on those. This is going to be the back of my little flower or the bottom layer of my flower and I did it in green sort of to represent some little leaves sort of. It's an unusual little flower pattern I put together here. All right I'm going around my horseshoe with a little bit of black ink and it's sort of funny how this black ink lays on this shiny silver. All right, here is my card base. And as you saw, it has a little bit of a different cut on it. I left the strip on the outside showing. So the underneath strip is going to show. So what I'm doing is I'm coming in with some really thin, it's a quarter of an inch, double score tape. And now I'm gonna come in with just a little itty bitty piece, a strip of brown and I'm just lining it up at the very edge. Then I'm gonna take it to my paper trimmer and I'm just gonna trim off those edges. Then when I come back from the paper trimmer, you can see what it looks like there. Now all I need to do is adhere the inside for my sentiment. I just did that with a piece of double score tape and that takes care of the inside. Now I'm sort of laying together my outside and deciding how I wanna do this. And I decided on this sort of wide uh, brown ribbon. It's sort of a woven ribbon. I thought it looked very country. I'm going to use a little fabric tack now and adhere my wood paper to that back. And you can see now that it doesn't matter that I've cut those pieces out. It's a great way to reuse some of your paper that you've cut is to use them to back your, your cards. Now I'm going to come in with fabric tack and add that little piece of woven fiber here, ribbon. And now as for my horseshoe, I'll just glue that on the offset piece. And then I'm gonna put some cereal box. You know it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't have some cereal box in here somewhere, right? So I'm gonna take a little cereal box and just pop that off on the top part so it lays flat on the card. Otherwise it, it just kind of sticks down funny. All right, we're gonna put these flowers together and I'm so sorry that you missed the part where I was uh, playing with these flowers and manipulating them a little bit, but you'll see here what I do. I just sort of stick that tool in and I, I just sort of 
um, mush it down in there and it makes the flower kind of curve up around it. And I'm just using the end of my piercing tool for that, the blunt end, obviously. <laughs> there you go, now you can really see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop that little blue pearl inside of there. And uh, that'll finish off that little flower. And we'll just sort of set that aside to dry until uh, I get the other parts put together. So now we're just gonna go ahead and stick the card front onto the card base. And we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue there on that cereal box and stick the horseshoe on. And now I just have this bit of thread laying on my craft table and I thought, hey, that's kind of fun. So I brought that over and put that in underneath where I'm going to put my double bow. And I'll just glue that in with a little bit of fabric tack also. And then we'll go ahead and bring in that flower. Time to adhere some gems because the theme over at Cut It Up's challenge is embellish it or embellishments. So I wanted to use quite a few. I used the, um, the fiber strip and the gem and the little rhinestone gems and the flower and the thread and the bow. So I have quite a few little embellishments on here. And uh, you know, if you watch very many of my videos that when the embellishments, the little gems come out, the, we are at the end. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will leave links to these challenges as well as links to what I used for this card in that little box below the video and above the comments. If you want to leave me a comment, that would be great. Or if you have a question or an idea you'd like to see done on my channel, just leave it there and I will check that out. Have a wonderful week and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye.